Hey guys, and welcome back to Color Correction and Final Cut Pro. This is part four of my series. Today, we'll take a look at some of Final Cut Pro's color correction tools and talk a little bit about the art and science of color correction. If you haven't seen parts one through three, I'll link them in the description and link the complete playlist in the top right corner. And be sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss my future videos. Color correction is an effect in Final Cut Pro. To apply color correction to a clip, you open the effects browser, scroll down to color, select color correction, and drag it over your clip. Then you open the inspector, select color correction, and click the arrow beside color board. This is the hard way of doing it. I'll go back in the inspector and delete this effect from my clip by selecting color correction and pressing delete key. An easier way to apply color correction to a clip is to go directly to the color board. From the menu bar, select window, go to, and select color board, or use the keyboard shortcut command 6. Now, when you have a clip selected and make any adjustments here, the color correction effect will be automatically applied to your clip. The color board is where you adjust color, saturation, and exposure in your clip. This, along with the viewer, is the art part of color correction. The science part of color correction is the video scopes. To open video scopes, from the menu bar, select view, Show in Viewer, and Video Scopes, or use the keyboard shortcut Command 7. Video Scopes show you your image represented by a waveform. These waveforms are a great tool when color correcting. When color correcting an image, your first adjustment should be the exposure of your image. This adjusts the brightness and contrast in your clip. To adjust the exposure, select the Exposure tab in your color board, and in the Video Scopes, use waveforms in either just Luma Channel, or RGB Parade. We'll take a closer look at these in one of my future videos. After exposure, your next adjustment will be color. For this, select color in your color board and RGB Parade in your video scopes. Usually, the aim here is to balance your image between the three color channels, especially in the areas that should be color neutral. With exposure and color adjusted, the next step is to adjust color saturation of your image. Select the saturation tab in the color board and in the video scopes, select the vector scope for this adjustment. The vector scope only measures the chroma or color signal without taking into account the luma or brightness signal. Once again, we'll take a closer look at this in one of my future videos. These three steps are the basic workflow and color correction. You may have to go back and forth between these steps to perfect your image, but this is a good starting point. In my next video, we'll take an in-depth look at the first step, adjusting the exposure of your image. Make sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss it. New videos released twice a week. And, as always, your likes, shares, and comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.